Hey, this is Super Saiyan Ryu here, and today we're going to be talking about what they've shown so far for their trailer on Xenoverse 2. Now, if you know me, you know I'm pretty excited for this game. I love playing Xenoverse 1, played through the whole thing, played afterwards, you know. Uh, I've done lots of debates in the debate community on uh, the different feats and stuff in Xenoverse 1, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how they handle Xenoverse 2. Now, so far in the trailer, what we've seen is we've seen that they've definitely improved the graphics. They're going to be, looks like, adding in um, the ability to fly around the main overworld. And it looks like it's going to be a lot larger, so that's good. I like that. And uh, also, we saw specifically that they're going to have a future Trunks story arc in it, because we saw an animation that was showing part of that. And something really interesting, actually, is that they showed Lord Slug during the trailer. Now, to me, this would imply that they're probably not only going to have Lord Slug in terms of the storyline, but also the other movie characters as well, because we know Lord Slug isn't as well known as, say, Janemba or Bojack or Cooler. So I'm thinking there's a good chance we're going to get all those guys as actual characters and as part of the storyline during this game, which I'm really excited about because the only ones we had in Xenoverse 1 were Brawly and Bardock. And I mean, you know, Brawly's a movie character, Bardock is from the special, but uh, other than that, we were stuck with uh, just the regular Z and also GT. And actually, that's another thing I'd like to say. Uh, I'm really hoping they don't take away parts from Xenoverse 2 that were already in Xenoverse 1. I'll be expecting them to at least have the entire roster from Xenoverse 1 at the get-go in Xenoverse 2. So I'm really hoping they do that, and um, I think there's a good chance they will. One thing that I did miss in uh, Xenoverse 1 that I thought they would have put in was Demigra. I was really hoping they would have put him in as a playable character, so I'm crossing my fingers they put them into uh, Xenoverse 2, because I'd really like to see him as a playable character. Also, uh, one thing I wanted to say about Xenoverse 2 is I would like to see them at least start out going to the end of Universe 6 arc. We know that they're supposed to be putting the game out in the winter of 2016, so that means there's about six months left until it's released, so they certainly have enough time to finish up the Universe 6 arc and include it within the main storyline from the original game. As for the next arc, I think it's less likely that it'll be included in the initial game, it's possible because it could finish up in less than six months, and if they work really hard, they could have it before launch included in the storyline. However, they did state that they're planning on putting in DLC, so even if this next Future Trunks arc isn't already in Xenoverse, I'm willing to bet they're going to be putting it in as DLC afterwards. So personally, I'm not too worried about them not including um, the evil version of Goku and the newer version of Trunks that is going to be coming out and whatever else happens in that arc. So I'm really looking forward to Xenoverse 2 because I think it's going to be rich with content. I'm really hoping they have an original storyline again because that was one of the things that made Xenoverse 1 so great. And also I'd like to see them add even more customization options. You know, at the beginning, um, maybe more hairstyles, the ability to make maybe a Super Boo style looking Majin, maybe even an extra race like the Android race or something that looks like Cell. That kind of stuff. I think that would be really cool as well. And maybe even um, if they could include some sort of transformation for the other races, that would be really interesting to see. I'd really like to see that as well. Also, obviously the battle system could use a little tweaking, but that goes without saying since Xenoverse number one was, well, the first uh, attempt at creating a new battle system. So hopefully this will have an even better battle system as well. Uh, yeah, and I'm really looking forward to it. Also, um, another thing worth mentioning is since this is going to be only on the current gen consoles, so it's only going to be on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the PC, of course, um, that means that it's not going to be held back by the uh, limits of the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, so they can certainly do a lot more with the game because of that. They don't have to keep the specs down to that level. So they certainly have enough room to make the game as good as they want to make it. Also, something interesting to mention is that in Xenoverse, we saw that Demigra's earring looked the exact same as the earring that Black Goku is wearing in the picture that's been recently released of him. So I'm thinking it's actually possible that there might be a connection between Demigra 
and Black Goku, and there's a possibility they may even introduce Demigra into the Dragon Ball Super storyline. And if that's the case, I'd be really excited for that, because that could connect all the video games, all the movies, pretty much the entire franchise, into the idea of a multiverse within Universe 7 throughout all the different timelines. So I think that's pretty cool that they are showing that, and I'm thinking that uh, if it does come to pass, that would really make the entire series a lot more expansive and a lot more interesting because it would all be linked together. And also the fact that I think Demigra is a really interesting character with his abilities and the way that he battles. It's not just outright trying to beat people up. He tries to plot schemes. He has lots of different hacks abilities like space and time manipulation. He tries to mess with timelines and stuff. So I think he would be a really interesting character to see come into Dragon Ball Super. And I'd really look forward to that. I think something that would be really awesome is if they even incorporated Dragon Ball Xenoverse and Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, the storylines, somehow into the Dragon Ball Super storyline. I think that would be amazing. Um, I'd really look forward to that. So, uh, yeah, I'm really uh, crossing my fingers that this is meaning Demigra will have some sort of part in Dragon Ball Super and the upcoming arc. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. What do you want to see added to Xenoverse? What do you want to see them keep in? Do you want to see them get rid of anything? And do you think it is going to be connected to Super, and would you want it to be? 